Hindsight is a deeply emotional, mournfully delivered story as we experience the first-hand grief of a woman who just lost their mother. As she reminisces on her memories, our protagonist goes through a journey of discovery and realization as she comes to terms with the perception of her mother and just how true that perception was. Presented as a more interactive story with the occasional puzzles as opposed to the more traditional gameplay, Hindsight focuses on capturing the feelings of the protagonist as authentically as possible and it's all the stronger for it. Hindsight opens up with the introduction to our protagonist, a woman that we learn hasn't had the best relationship with her mother. Unfortunately for her, her mother recently passed away and now she finds herself being the last to clear out her old home along with her family's cherished possessions. The possessions are special as they hold different memories for our protagonist, some good, some bad, all impactful. It's through these various trinkets that they open windows to the past as we travel through the past and present to decipher the type of person their mother was and how accurate her memories of her are. It's a melancholy story that is not for everyone, but powerful for the right target audience. Those that find themselves in similar situations are no doubt bound to get the most out of this story. Despite the mournful portrayal, as someone who hasn't found themselves in this exact situation yet, I still found the takeaway of the messaging impactful and thought-provoking. It's clear that the people behind this project wanted it to be a labor of love. I would say Hindsight is a narrative first, gameplay second type of game, with a lot of the interaction in the story being clicking on certain parts of the scene to continue on with the story. If you played a memoir blue or if found before, you can imagine gameplay similar to those titles. Wiping away foreground elements to see the background, clicking on objects to examine them only to reveal a lost memory. It's a very approachable gameplay scheme that doesn't ask much from the player, focusing on keeping the pacing of the story first. The entire runtime is about 2 hours long and it's paced fairly well, making sure to tell a heartfelt story that doesn't feel like it drags either. I do wish there was a bit more to do in regards to gameplay. I for one love these interactive games that act more like stories rather than traditional video games. However, I do wish there was more to do, or at least puzzles to solve that were intertwined with the story. There are some here, but they're so far and few in between that I don't want to spoil them here. Nevertheless, if you are a fan of these types of games, rest assured Hindsight is another great addition to the genre. Hindsight features a very colorful and simplistic art style that almost mimics the look of a children's storybook. Shadows are simple, colors are vibrant, and the models of characters are minimalistic. The art direction is used to great use as you move around the camera oftentimes finding portals towards the next scene in the story. In a way, it does feel like diving into a children's book, although written more for a young adult than children. Facial expressions are also simple. This is probably the only time where I wish they went with the more intricate design style, as it was hard to evoke the same emotions from the models that their dialogue was saying. Now playing on PC, I was able to run this at a full 4K resolution 60fps, and you can expect a 1080p 60 dock, 720p in handheld mode if you're playing on Switch. While I like the higher resolution visuals on PC, the camera movement in this game caters more to a touchscreen, so the Switch might be the way to go with this title. Especially with the whole book-like interaction and 2 hour length, experiencing the game on a cozy weekend night with your Switch might be the way to go. Throughout hindsight, screens completely fill the background as they set the ambiance for what is a touching story. The voice work I thought was also well done, delivered in a somber but authentic sounding tone. It captures the feeling of looking back at a time fondly, nostalgic in a sense, only now looking at it from a different perspective. Hindsight is another great addition to the adventure narrative driven genre that focuses more on its story than gameplay. At this point it seems like Annapurna as a publisher really relishes in that genre, and hindsight is no different. Fans of the genre are sure to enjoy the heartfelt and mournful reflection, although the heavier subject may push those looking for a more upbeat story away. While those who are or did go through a similar situation are bound to find some sort of peace with this game.